The Miss Ghana pageant for many years has been marred with several controversies, with some Ghanaians calling for it to be suspended. However, CEO of exclusive events and organizers of the pageant in a party saying that she's actually addressed some of the concerns and allegations at the 2020 launch of the Miss Ghana. <laughs> The Miss Ghana pageant has been fraught with contention and the incessant resignation of beauty queens in the last couple of years. Unsubstantiated claims of scam, fraud, pimping and tyrannical leadership have sunk the once prestigious pageant. In an exclusive interview with TV3 Entertainment, Ina Patti, the CEO of Exclusive Events, Owners of the Miss Ghana franchise has addressed the controversies that have shrouded the beauty of the pageant, saying they are all just wild allegations and it has been taken up legally. She further mentioned that, till date, none of the former contestants who made those allegations have been able to come out with any evidence or names. Our business, unfortunately, unfortunately, is showbiz. And we live in a society where people can get up and say anything with impunity. We have taken it up legally because like I said once, even though they said I was rude, I was like, if you can't come up with names, because doing that in itself is a crime. So why haven't you gone to the law enforcement authorities? So if you can't do that or you don't have it, then shut up. Speaking okay. on why Nigeria and South Africa made Africa proud on the Miss World stage, she attributed Ghana's abysmal performance to lack of support from Ghana and the media. And how many people covered the story that Miss Ghana had left for Miss World? How many people carried the story to say, oh, Miss Ghana has gone through preliminary selection for fashion show, for beauty with the purpose for it. You talk about it, you project it. We do that. 2012, we did that. We did that beautifully well. And where did we get to? We got that. Constantly, we were in the media. Constantly, Ghana was projecting our own. So until we do that together as a country, and not about inner passe, then I'm sorry, our dream of being first would still be a dream. Becca Kwabi, who was the reigning queen on the other hand, stated that her inability to attain greater heights at the just-ended Miss World pageant was because of the lack of support from Ghanaians. Miss Kwabi asserts that Ghanaians feed more on negativity than the positives. I don't know why they mostly feed on uh, Miss Ghana and always try to bring something negative out of the pageant, which I think we have to put a stop to it and always bring the positive aspect from it so that the world will know that, yes, Miss Ghana is something that Ghanaians really cherish. But whenever you bring the negative out, they feel like you don't even cherish what you have. So what should we, why should we even crown you as Miss World or Miss uh, International or any pageant?